We're human. We all make mistakes. I mean, that's just human nature, right? Well, luckily, our mistakes don't end up costing millions of dollars. But some people have made unfortunate mistakes like that. Yes, a small mistake has ended up costing millions of dollars. But you may be wondering, what mistakes were so bad that they ended up costing so much? Well, that's what we'll talk about today in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Mentors. Today, we will be talking about the most expensive construction mistakes ever. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Number 1. The Wobbly Bridge Bridges are already scary enough. Imagine if one starts wobbling when you're crossing it. Well, that actually happened back in June 2000. As an architect, the worst thing you can hear is the fact that the structure you spent so long making is starting to be referred to as the Wobbly Bridge. Well, the architect that designed the Millennium Bridge of London over the River of Thames had to go through that. When the bridge first opened, everyone was really hyped and the number of pedestrians on the bridge was too high. But instead of withholding the weight, the bridge started wobbling and shaking. So, just like the expected, the bridge was shut down after two days. And just like that, a bridge that cost over $25 million to build had to be closed down and rebuilt for an additional $7 million. Wow, talk about an expensive mistake. Number 2. The Walkie Talkie Imagine a building that can actually burn down cars. No, that's not a scene from an action movie that has actually happened. It was the 20 Fenchurch Street in London which got nicknamed as the Walkie Talkie because of its strange shape. But looking like a walkie talkie wasn't the only interesting thing about the building. The building had a huge glass facade which reflected sunlight onto the road for two hours every day. In fact, the building actually melted a person's Jaguar on the road. And just like that, people went from calling the building the walkie-talkie to calling the building the walkie-scorchy instead. Anyway, to fix the mistake, sun protection had to be added to reduce the building's glare, and that cost around $13.8 million. Number 3. The Citigroup Center Imagine if a skyscraper in New York City toppled created a whole domino effect and before you know it, all the skyscrapers surrounding it came crashing down. Sounds horrific, right? Well, if the engineers that built the Citigroup Center didn't fix their mistake, that could have actually happened in real life. This building was designed keeping in mind the winds that would hit perpendicular to it. But the architects failed to take into account the winds that would hit its corners. And surprisingly enough, nobody realized it at the time. The problem was later discovered by a Princeton University civil engineering student, Diane Hartley. She claimed that the building was unsafe and could topple over. And once the engineers carried out structural safety tests, they realized that the student was in fact right. To make it even worse, Hurricane Ella was on its way to New York City. At first, a mass damper was installed to keep the building intact. But that worked on electricity, and if during a wind, electricity was to go out, the building would collapse right there. Finally, two-inch steel plates over bolted joints were welded into the building, which thankfully made the building safe again. An exact value of how much this cost is unknown, but I'm sure the constant stress of the hurricane hitting at any time would have been even worse than the millions of dollars spent on the modifications. Number 4. French Train Trouble you can fit a round rod into a triangular hole, can't you? Well, just like that, you can't fit a train if the railways constructed are way too narrow. Well, the French state control train company, SNCF, learned that the hard way. After they bought 2,000 trains, they realized the railway they built was too narrow for the trains. And here's the fun part. The trains they bought cost $20 billion. So obviously, they couldn't make new trains, could they? That's why they have to reconstruct and widen the railway platforms to make the trains fit. And here's the fun part. That ended up costing them another $68 million. Number 5. The Jeddah Tower When plans for the Kingdom Tower of Jeddah Saudi Arabia came out, everyone was impressed. I mean, it was like two and a half Empire State Buildings stacked up on each other. And it could have become the first one-kilometer skyscraper to ever be built. The construction began in 2015 and the plan was to finish it by 2018. However, things took a pretty wild turn. 
In 2017, during the Saudi Arabian purge, many major investors of the building were imprisoned by the Saudi government, with only one third of the building done. Even though they're all out of jail now, the construction is still on hold and we haven't gotten a date on when it will begin again. And here's a fun fact. The building has already cost over $4 billion. So if the construction just stops because of a mistake made by the investors, that's billions of dollars down the drain. Number 6. The 13-Story Apartment Complex of Shanghai Sure, all of the mistakes in the list cost a whole lot of money, but this one is probably the worst. Not only did it cost a lot of money, but it also cost a person's life. And the worst part is, the warning signs were all there, and the real estate company just kept ignoring them. So you might be wondering what exactly was the problem. Well, a car park was being dug beneath the opposite side due to which almost 10 meters of soil was piled against one side of the building. If they had just moved the soil, all of this would have been avoided. But they didn't. And that resulted in a huge collapse, which not only cost the company $800,000, but also took a man's life. And on that note, we come to the end of today's video. We saw some really horrible and expensive mistakes, right? So next time you make a small mistake, instead of feeling bad about yourself, just remember at least your mistake didn't end up costing millions of dollars. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out.